Moodle tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Moodle. So what exactly is Moodle and how can you get started? Now Moodle has three different functionalities. Moodle has Moodle.com where you have things like the Moodle LMS or Workplace or even find a Moodle certified service provider. Then you have Moodle.net which is their social network where you can share and curate educational resources then you also have their moodle academy where courses and programs help you develop your skills as a moodle educator administrator designer or developer so simply go into moodle.org and click on get involved once you do that you will see different options to get started and if you want you can choose a particular option but if you're uncertain you're just going to click on register now and you can register to join moodle global as well but the easiest way is to just click on moodle academy over here and once you go into moodle academy you can proceed with your sign up so if you can't find a direct sign up bar over here just click on login on the top right and once you click on log in, you will see the option to create a new account. Click on create new account over here to get started. Firstly, you will add your age and then select your country like this. Then click on proceed over here. Now, once you proceed, you will have their privacy policy. So read their privacy policy and proceed on to the next step like so. Now, once you do that, you will have the agreement to their privacy policy and you have to agree to their cookie policy and their site policy. Click on next if you agree. And now it's time to create your username. Now I'm going to add my username over here and create a suitable password for my Moodle account. Then after that, you're going to enter your email address like so we're just going to type that in like this add our first name as well as our last name the city slash town and the country as well now after that you are going to add your pathways of in uh, of interest and then your security question click on create my new account over here to proceed with learning on moodle now, once you've done that, a verification will be sent to your mailbox. So open up your mailbox to get verified on Moodle. Now, simply click on this link provided in the email and then click on continue. And your Moodle account has now been created. After that, you do have their newsletter sign up. So after that, once you have proceeded with their newsletter, it's time to start learning. You can explore the learning hub for the global Moodle community in the next easy steps. You guys can see they have a few different sections. You can update your time zones, go into their learning pathways, and much, much more. Now you can click on dashboard on the top left to get access to the Moodle Academy dashboard. This includes things such as upcoming events created by Moodle, different courses that you can search for, as well as Moodle Academy programs. You can also click on my courses to see the courses that you are currently included in. Now I will find a particular area of interest. So let's say that I want to find courses on artificial intelligence. Now you will see a course over here and the category is educator pathway. The estimated learning time is three hours and the level entry level is beginner. So I will click on this particular course over here and you will see more information about the provided course. This includes things such as uh, the basic core competencies, which I will learn, as well as the dates and the enrollment method. You can see it is self-enrollment and no enrollment key is required. I can click on enroll me to be able to be enrolled in this course. Once I have enrolled in this course, you can get started with your learning process. So in your learning process, you will have the course, you have to-do lists in this course. We also have a course check as well. Now, what happens if you want to actually create your own courses? So you can actually create a course on, on Moodle. And the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and go into Google and search for create course on Moodle over here. And then you will see Moodle docs. Now you're going to go into Moodle Docs over here 
And to do that, you are simply going to go into your site administrator on Moodle and then proceed uh, with your creation of a course. Now, Moodle is really a diverse platform that can help anyone in learning anything. And if you want, you can also choose to explore the other features of Moodle that are not related to Moodle Academy. This includes things such as Moodle.org as well as the Moodle.com platform that are both amazing as well. Now, with Moodle, not only can you get access to, to some amazing courses, but you can even get Moodle Academy programs. And these are short courses where they can help you in learning the basics of Moodle to be able to better use this as a learning management system, especially if you are doing learning management for, you know, an entire class or for university or for college directly on Moodle. This is going to be easier for you to use. You can also go into Moodle forms and start building communities and joining communities as well. And if you want, you can also go ahead and go into the documentation section to get access to a knowledge base on Moodle. You also have a demo tracker development and translation of Moodle. And if you want, you can go on ahead and go into Moodle.com and start building your learning management system. Click on get Moodle over here and you can start building your learning management. So I want training or certification and in-depth, a in-depth course, and I can add, you know, Moodle as a user that wants to create a learning management system. I can choose to get expert assistance, or I can also start with a free trial. Simply click on start your free trial over here to proceed with your free trial on Moodle. You can also take a look at their advising section. So if you are feeling a bit lost on their learning management system, which I know can be a lot, you can actually access from the help articles relevant answers. And you will see that Moodle is for students, employees, educators, trainers, everyone. Because with your organization on Moodle or with your class on Moodle, everything becomes so much easier to manage and nothing is ever out of order. Additionally, Moodle solutions are really diverse. So even if I'm using Moodle Workspace, I have certified integrations as well as the Moodle application on my phone, which can help me in learning anywhere. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.